Yes, I got with me all my Oche for today. Uh, I like to say a music group that I think nobody should test because they're actually hot. They've been doing this from way back and they're still hot up until now. And ladies and gentlemen, I present to you one of the finest from the Southeast, Nigeria and beyond. The party animals in the studio. Yo, 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 yo. <laughs> Welcome to the show, man. Thank you very much. So what's up with the shades? Let's start from what's there. Up? There's so many lights. There's so many lights. Yeah. <coughs> it's a fashion accessory, my brother. I know, I know, Max Swag. Yours will be different. <laughs> yeah. yeah it's, it's about the finesse. It's about the finesse. Yeah, yeah. that's it. And disco. That's what you say. It's about the lights. Really bright. <laughs> In the form of <laughs> <laughs> All right, man. Welcome to the show. Feels good to have you guys here. Yeah. Even though there's still one missing. Yeah, I mean, Dash is in Lagos. So yeah. He's got, he's got a lot happening with him. Mm. Uh, you know, he's a thespian, so he's on theater production. We've sure. done that for a while now. Mm. But we're able to work remotely. Thank God for the internet. <laughs> Thank God yeah. for airports. Yeah. So we're able to work, but he's unavailable at the moment. Talking about the internet, uh, imagine the world without internet. Yeah. Funny enough, I was having this conversation with somebody a few days ago. Yeah. Imagine, like, you can't go. What on. would happen like, to our music? Weekend, yeah. Hmm. You know, like it feels like everybody now depends on the internet. Like, mommy's internet just stops working. Everybody yeah, that's the panic. Like, you know, you yeah, and we had that test like a know, few days back yeah. when the internet actually yeah. stopped working, yeah. and yeah. some has not even started working. Yeah, yeah. Like, you can't communicate, you can't do yeah. time transfers, you mm. can't, can't send emails, you can't go to work. Yeah. There's a lot that depends on the internet these days. True. You can't do POS transactions, not the ATM. Yeah, I would. Yeah, we don't even we don't realize how dependent we are on these things until they're taken away from us. Then you start to realize like what? <laughs> We're in trouble. We're really in trouble. Exactly, man. All right, so let's leave the internet and let's talk about the party animals. First yeah. off, I like to know how you guys actually met <coughs> and for how long you guys have been doing this. Huh. I think I like Disco to answer it. Huh. Uh, yes. <laughs> <laughs> no, no. <laughs> I have my reasons. We have your reasons. Yeah. So you're sort of like um, the backup singer. No, not the backup singer. It's like when about, Swag talk and you just say, yeah. I'm about yeah. So that's, like, if I to go like way back. Yeah. Like, with um, Max Swag's and DJ Ray. Yeah. You know, then they were just like train parties mm. and just like, majorly though. Before that, the whole music thing yeah. started. And then there was no more Max Wax and DJ Rain. Then we came to it was me, um, we came on wise producer. Yeah. Okay, it was more like him, he was on the MC. Mm. We came on wise was the producer and I was the DJ. Yeah. So like a trio. But like, you know how this major is a kind of thing? So instead of making like yeah. refixes. Like a sound system. Yeah, like a sound system basically. So instead of making like refixes and everything that mm. I mean, went viral, people liked it. Yeah. And first they're making like original records, mm. you know, from there. So, so who brought about the idea? I said, hey, let's team up together. Swag. Wow. <laughs> Swag. What actually are, I mean, what vision did you see that actually made you feel like? Because not on a reg, and that's why I had to ask, do you get to see uh, more like uh, an artist, and then you have a DJ, and then you have a producer, and they call themselves a crew. So it's always, uh, you yeah, know, yeah. an artist. We just triggered by the fact that we are different, yeah. uh, individually and collectively. Yeah. So whatever we had to do had to be different. Mm -hmm. um, the idea of the party animals came from, like you said, throwing parties. And mm. I'm a hype man. He's a DJ. That's yeah. the producer. Mm. And we're able to do like live refixes on the stage. So originally, it wasn't even about putting original music. Okay. It was about like doing refixes and also doing live refixes and doing collaboration with other artists mm. but over time we have been um we've evolved into making our own sound because mm. we realized yo we can do it and we can even do it better than the guys that we're featuring so mm. like why not and we started recording and it just started to turn more into like a music morph into a music group mm. and a sound system yeah however the idea was to create something different it still is to create something different create a unique sound and like what we bring to the table is unattainable anywhere else. Sure. So like um, the idea is when you hear the party animals, you feel different. Yeah. Hmm. So and I might not be able to bring that, you know, individually. Disco might not be able to do that. Dash might not be. But when we come together, like you definitely will feel it. You can. Yeah. Who gets the ideas of the song or the kind of song you want to do? I mean, it could be anybody. Yeah. Okay. It could be anybody. Uh, sometimes Dash sends me the beats. Sometimes Disco mashes up some ideas. Sometimes mm. I write. You know, sometimes we're together and we create. Like, there's no... 
there's no written law to this. You yeah, know, it could be anybody. But we are once you we are, you got your mind at it. You yeah. know, we just we just get to work. Mm. I'm never recording. Uh, <laughs> but you recorded you recorded in the past. I don't know, like this. My voice is under his noise now. Nah. So exactly, I would actually yeah. love to hear disco. Well, actually, disco do a record. Yeah, uh, maybe I have actually, yeah, but it's not like my chance. I, I'm just like I just sit back and you know make their eyes just flow. Yeah, they do it way better, so it's fine. Huh. So you're like the father. No, what's funny? <laughs> <laughs> you sit down and then you just let the children, what the they do, what the they do. But it's all good. I mean, over the years, you guys have been able to, you know, be together. You guys have been together for like how long? Um, I'm on a while. You don't take. Cause, just, okay, I've known, we've known each other for over a decade, over 12, 13 years. Whoa. Yeah. So coming together as the party animals. As a group, like, it's yeah. about eight years now. Eight years now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So how have you guys been able to be consistent? I mean, I've I've, I've checked out a whole lot of seven people. years now. Seven years. <laughs> seven okay. years. Yeah. The original party animals, me and the Jerry, in eight mm. years. Yeah. <laughs> then after he moved to the three of us, so for yeah. three of us, it's seven years now. And since that seven years, you guys have been dropping hits. I must yeah. confess, like, man, I've been checking some of your songs from way back, and I've been like, whoa! I saw all the tracks with Jerry from way back, yeah. and. Jerry, that time you never <laughs> stayed there, like <laughs> you know. So yeah, but then that goes to say how uh, very far you guys have actually come, and uh, uh, not every day do we get to see you know this music crew has actually been together for this long and still been this consistent and still dropping hits back to back to back. Now, before we talk about this particular hit that has actually been dropped. Yes, in addition to other hits that are mm -hmm. still out there. I'd like to know how you guys have been able to be this consistent. Has there ever been a time when, you know, it actually came and you were like, man, no, I don't tire, bitch. I want, I want the... Man, to be honest, like, yeah. when you put in so much work and you don't get as much results, it might, it might be discouraging sometimes. Sure. But, uh, bro, I'm hungry. Uh -huh, yeah. I'm hungry. I've been yeah. hungry for years. Mm. And if you really know me or know my team or know the party animals, like we stay hungry. Like so like <laughs> every year we have plans. Mm. There hasn't been a year that we are inactive. Okay. There hasn't been a year we didn't release a project or release songs True. or do events. So mm. we're always active. So mm. and we have not even scratched the surface of what we're trying to achieve. So yeah. when you remember like how far we're trying to go, like I mean you cannot just you can't just give up. And mm. what really keeps us going is the dreams, the the hunger, mm. the and the fact that like you have a whole like city, a whole region on your back, like sure. to be fair. So like if we if we stop today, we're going we it's gonna affect a lot of other people. It's gonna have a ripple effect on other people who yeah. look up to us and say, like, you guys have been doing it. So because you're mm. doing it, I wanna do it. And yeah. if you stop, you're gonna kill a lot of other dreams, not just mm. yours. And so you fact that I like, mean no, it's not just what well, a box into like just the music thing. Yeah, yeah. It's more than the music. Mm, true. The whole podcast it's about throwing parties. parties. Like, yeah, yeah. There's, there's a lot. So if even if we're not making music right now, there's yeah, definitely yeah. something else that is yeah. keeping the whole team active. So. Mm. Talking about keeping the team active, let's talk about your collaborations. You know, I've actually. Uh, Okay, permit me to say I, I'm a fan of the party animals. I mean, obviously, yes. and uh, I've been I've been like checking out some of your songs. I've been listening to some of your sound. I've been vibing to a whole lot of them. And one thing actually strikes me whenever there's a collaboration between the party animals and someone, it's because I mean, these guys are not just uh, most of the times are not just the regular guys that you get to hear every day. So it's like you guys have the scouting talent. <laughs> and you're like, man, I've seen I've seen collaborations. I, okay, I mentioned Jerick. You know, yeah. that was when probably the the world didn't know about Jerry. Yeah. But you guys had that collab. And there's Odomodo Black. And then there's uh, this guy actually asked Disco about the other time, the Playmaker. Yeah. I mean, that guy is so good, man. So, yeah, how do you guys spot these collaborations? <laughs> and then most recently, yes, before we get to the big one between Cho and Kemena. Yeah, I mean, like, that's a very good question. Mm -hmm. So, because we're a sound system, yeah, I told you that originally... Our plan was to do songs mm. featuring other artists. Okay. So features are very important to us. I don't just feature you because you're popping. Yeah. I, I don't even like to feature you when you're popping. <laughs> I'd rather feature you before, like I see it before most people see it. Yeah. Um, so one of the reasons that triggered me to even start the party animals with my former partner, DJ Rain, was that we had access to so many 
amazing talents. Mm. And I feel like these talents didn't even know how talented they were. True. So I needed to show them. So mm. like guys like Jay Wheels, Jerry, Ratsy, Kizito, mm. Effect MC, King Perry, before these guys even took off, like yeah. we already had records with them. Mm. And uh, it's just because I could tell like, yo, this guy's got something. True. Before Jerry popped, like I knew it was going to pop. Mm. Before the Moto Black started popping, way before mm. <laughs> yeah. I knew when I had a record with him. Mm. So I need to listen to the songs that I made with these guys. They're evergreen records. So evergreen. You cannot say this Jerry before he blew. No, like, mm. you see yeah, quality Jerry. You see mm. quality of the mode. You see, because, like, when we get into the studio, we just, <coughs> it's what we do. We know how to make this thing work. Yeah. So, like, I pay a lot of attention to collaborations, mm. and I'm very selective with who I do records with because I feel like um, music is spiritual. If I make music with you, you're my brother for life. Mm. Mm. That's fact. That's deep. Man. We're connected even after we even after we pass. Yeah, uh, we have something together for life. So I don't just make music with anybody. Uh, mm. That's deep. Yeah. That's deep. All right. So uh, this might sound a bit awkward, or maybe not. But I was also having this conversation with Disco the other day, and I was telling him, "Hey, I think like the party animals are not really recognized." And are not really at the level that they ought to be with the kind of sound they produce, you know, the kind of vibe they bring, and all are to you. Do I want to throw it to you now, Swag? <laughs> Do you feel like you guys are? Yes, you're not there yet. Or is there something more that could be done or that you feel like you guys are not doing? Because I mean, your sound is is something the words you hear. Yeah, yeah. yeah, I mean, like that's the thing. Yeah, <laughs> it's because it's different. Like right? um, you can't expect us to move the way other people move mm. uh so like the fact is that i always tell people that we are where we we are where we're supposed to be mm. okay right so like uh, i'm not in a hurry to to blow like i'm trying to what we're building see what we're doing with parties like the alternative house party yeah. in the yard the swags mm. we're building communities True. so I, I don't want to blow today and unblow tomorrow mm. yeah because right? we know what to do if you check you would never hear you never hear a story on the internet about the party animals that it's not about our music. We're not trying to chase clouds. We're not trying mm. to do any of that unnecessary stuff. It's just work. Mm. And with time, the work is going to tell. Mm. It might not be where it ought to be now. Yeah. Yeah, but like where we are right now is where... Gradually. Yeah. we have stepping stone. Yeah. As yeah. far as I'm able to drop a record today and you appreciate it. Yeah. I'm out here right now. True. It's, a, it's definitely a stepping stone. Mm. You know, so we've been doing this for years now. And yeah. I've been doing this long enough to know that uh, blowing, you know, blowing into the mainstream mm. today is not always the best thing. Mm. Sometimes you need to like plan out that mainstream plan. Like you need to map it out, and sometimes it takes years. People don't realize. Mm. Sometimes it takes. Remember, we didn't start off as artists, so there's a lot of personal development going on, artist yeah. development, you know, talent development going on. A lot of things are working, so mm. it's all going to augment. Mm. With the communities that we're building, it's all going to augment you know, in due time. So, mm. like, we are where we're supposed to be. True. Nicely said. So, uh, I think there's a part where I now get to say uh, wise words from an OG before IG. <laughs> 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 all right, so let's talk about the big one. Yes, uh, Do or Die. Do it's or the latest die. single. It's buzzing. The first time I heard the cheer, I was like, oh my God, they're at it again. And when I saw the features, when I saw Cho, I was like, whoa. And then I must confess, mm. y'all actually introduced me to Kevin. Mm. Oh, really? Mm. Yeah, I, I mean, I, I haven't heard about him. Yeah. I've heard the name, but then I've not actually sat down to actually yeah, listen to this cool. guy. But then I started finding out about this guy and all and all so yes it's a mad mad one do or die how did the whole thing come about first off big shout out to Wicked and Wise Dash mm. uh, it was the beats first mm. so after I started I heard the beats and I'm like nah mm -hmm. and the first thing that came to my head when I heard the beats is if you utter over 10.5 would you do mm. like, yeah I mean, you would you and that's like one of my favorite lines for yeah because it's real and I don't know where it came from <laughs> yeah but I held on I held on to it and I started thinking for a long time who deserved to be on this record I knew it was a big song mm. so I took my time to plot you know discuss with my crew and Cho and Kevin and I were like the best bets in fact Cho was the best bet we did mm. a song with Cho first, yeah made a video of it mm. on Instagram just in my car just driving and vibing yeah. and Kevin and I sent me they're like yo send me that and Kevin is an artist I have been trying to work with for a while mm. but Kevin is just like me like he's not in a hurry too so 
he's been waiting for the right record. Mm. And so he felt like Zero Die was the right record. And like send, so I sent it to him, he sent me his vocals, we mixed it. To be honest, we made the song about a year ago. Mm. It's been a long so time. So the song has been in the studio for over a year, unreleased. And I just feel like, you know, we have to mm. make sure the song goes out now. <laughs> Yeah, because we have to wait for the right time to release it. So it's been a while since we recorded it. Zero Die is a really beautiful piece of music. It's got that I'm a piano funk. True. Sure. Mm. And I felt like everybody everybody brought their A game from Cho to Kemena. Like, they put their hearts on it. And I really appreciate it. That Kemena verse was something else. It's hard. And, and and that too, no? Yeah, you know, he yeah. also, like, yeah, yeah, he, yeah, did like he did some production. Touch, some mm. touches. Yeah, yeah some soft touches to his part. If you listen to some yeah. extra chords. Yeah. He played them himself. Whoa. That's an that was it. That knows what he wants. True, true, exactly. Yeah. And I, I love how it started off and then gradually yeah. went for Jesus and the yeah. whole thing. It's like, take me to church, baby. Yeah, yeah. That's cool. <laughs> that's cool. Yeah, this is such a great tune. So it's out right now yes, on all platforms. Yes, it is. All right. Stream, okay. stream, 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 stream. Stream, 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 stream. That's yourself. the word. All right. So we'll go for a very quick break. When we get back, yes, uh, we can actually tell they're actually very smart uh, gentlemen. But we'll get to see how very smart they are because uh, we'll be setting them up to play a game. We'll be right back. All right. Welcome back. It's time to play a game with our guest. And yes, uh... The party animals in the building, and we're about to test how very smart they are. Disco, let me start off with you. On a scale of 1 to 10, how very smart would you think you are? Probably 11. Okay. I like that. <laughs> it's the confidence for me. But remember what they say, pride go ahead before. Okay. <clears throat> okay. I like that. Swags? Mm. Mm. I went from Disco. Yeah, yes, I know it. <laughs> <laughs> so I'll play decent. Let me say uh, an 8. An 8. Yeah. All right. That's cool. Okay, guys, so let's get to check it out. Uh, Disco, this question is actually for you. Disco, how do you stay awake for 20 days without sleep? How do you stay awake for 20 days without sleep? You have 10 seconds and your time starts in 10, 9, uh, uh, 8, probably sleep at night, 7, <laughs> you sleep at six, night now, not during the day, 5, 4, are you sure? 3, 2, 1. So that's your time. All right, so let's get to see if Disco actually escaped taking a pinch of our delicious syrup. All right, so there you have it. Sleep at night. Disco. Disco, hope it's not what I'm thinking. What's that? Okay, don't mm -hmm. worry. Swag, over to you. Are you ready? Okay, guys, so let's go. All right, Swags. Yeah. Why was six afraid of seven? Oh. Why was six afraid of seven? Ten seconds and your time starts in ten, nine, eight, Stop seven, six, <laughs> five, four, because, three, because two, seven, eight, nine. One. And that's <laughs> your time. So, are you sure? Yeah, because seven, eight, nine. Why would it be seven, eight, nine? Seven, Eight nine seven eight nine. Okay, let's get to see if Swag is actually correct. Why was he afraid of seven? And the answer is because seven eight nine. Oh my! <laughs> Wait, honestly, Swag, you knew this before. No, man, you I just figured it out. Took a minute to think about. So, it. what are you feeling like right now? <laughs> moment, I'm having a Kanye West moment. Oh my God, that, that was so dope. Yeah. That was so dope. Yeah. I'm not sure of disco. But uh -huh. yours, I, I'm sure. Thank and I'll tell you why good. after the show. Oh, really? Yeah, but it's all good. <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not taking this. <laughs> <laughs> no, you're not taking it. You escaped that. Yeah, all right, big, big shout outs to you. Thank big you shout so outs much. to you. Big shout outs to everything that you're doing. I mean, we see the works. You know, like you said, you might be in a hurry to blow, but those who actually know what good music is all about actually know that, hey, these guys are giving it their all. Yeah. You know, it's from every sound. It's from the bits. Big shout outs to Dash, by the way. I think the bits are always killing. And it always kind of like has a way of defining the song. You know, and big shout outs to every one of y'all. I mean, you guys actually do a whole lot and we see it and we appreciate it. Thank you so much. So, yeah, yeah big, big shout out to you guys. So, after TV, always mm. supporting. After TV, after radio, I appreciate it. I appreciate mm. every minute of the support. Thank you so much. All right, man. And also a big shout out to Cho and Kevina. I think they did a mad one on that tune. The song is called Do or Die, and it's out there right now. So all you
you have to do is go online right now search for the party animals featuring cho and kemena it's called do or die such a great great tune trust me something you actually want to vibe to and then you will thank me later all right Okay, guys, so that's it on the show for today. Silver or gold, I have not, but my best I have given on to you. Hope it was good enough for you. Let's do this again tomorrow, same time, 2 to 3 p.m. Happens every weekday right here on Afia TV. I remain your host as always. My name is Choco Ani, and I don't do nothing loco because I always stay fly like I'm supposed to. Guys, we are live on all socials at Afia TV Official on Facebook, on X, on uh, Instagram, TikTok and all of the above. Until we do this again tomorrow, stay fly and be good. And from me to you, it's Udo Nogani.